it's uh, time since our last uh, lesson uh, together. What's new? What's been uh, happening uh, for you since uh, our last uh, lesson uh, together, Vanilza? I, I, I'm, I'm uh, working. You're working. That's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, I'm really pleased to hear that. <laughs> yeah, uh, in this time, yeah. Uh, That's good. To be work, can I, I say in this time to be work is a good uh, news. Oh, of course, it's a very good thing uh, to be working, especially in this period of the coronavirus where some people either have no work at all or much less work than before. So if you're working, it's a very good thing. It's very positive. Yeah. I'm, I'm very pleased to hear that, uh, Vinalsa. That's great. Wonderful. Hmm. And you? Oh, yes, I'm working too. Yes, very much so. Uh, lots and lots of work. Uh, by God's grace, of course, lots of uh, italki lessons. Uh, so it's all good. Yes, uh, nothing but uh, blessings uh, from the Lord. <laughs> but uh, uh, do you work in home? home? Yes. Home, home? Market. Yes, Before I'm working uh, from then, home. Then coronavirus. That's right, but then I was working from home even before uh, the coronavirus. Uh, uh, so it doesn't really change much whether there's the virus or not. For me, it's uh, just uh, the same as usual, really. So nothing much has changed for me. Everything is the same, except, of course, that there are more lessons uh, because there's there are a lot of people who are in a lockdown situation all over the world. And so because of that, it means that um, a lot more people are available for lessons who, you know, before didn't have time for lessons because they were working. And uh, a lot of people who uh, would normally have studied uh, at a physical school uh, because their school or education establishment or university closed. is closed, then they don't really have much other opportunity or possibility of learning other than learning online. And so many people are choosing to now learn online who before maybe uh, never learned online before. So it's uh, really uh, new from that point of view. Uh, yeah. It's a t total change. Yes, very different. Yes, okay. it's so normal. <laughs> yes. Let's uh, continue. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, with our English uh, joke humor lesson, so we uh, take turns uh, telling jokes uh, to each other. And uh, yeah. do you have, uh, oh, yeah, oh yes, who, who is going to start uh, today? Uh, do you want to start and say the first joke, or do you want me to start and uh, tell the first joke? What, what do uh, you prefer, Vanilza? I start. You start. Okay, that's great. I'm listening uh, I, to you. I, I wrote many... Oh, wow, that, many jokes. Oh, jokes. brilliant. Oh, well, with that... that, that that's easier to me. Of course, easier, you wouldn't say easier to me. You would say it's uh, easier for me. Let me write it down for uh, you. It's easier for me. It's easier for me. It's easier for me. That is but, the correct way of saying uh, it. I wrote, I wrote uh, mm -hmm. some, some that joke. That I read, but I didn't understand. Ah, right. Okay. Well, so, if you like, uh, yes. I need to explain about the 
the joke. <laughs> so, did you say you okay, needed me to explain? I need you, you explain me to explain you, uh, it to me, or I need uh, your explanation about. I need some explanation. There we are. So either you say about it. That's right. Either you say I need you to explain it to me. Or I need your explanation about it. Please. Yes, of course. Uh, so I'm uh, listening to uh, you. Sorry, you're saying? Mm -hmm. uh, probably I I didn't uh, understand because uh, uh, there uh, there is a play word pun pun. Ah, maybe because there's a pun, the play on words. Yes, that's often the reason why some people don't uh, understand uh, the joke. It's because of that play on words, that pun, which often can only be understood by a native level English speaker. Yes. Okay, well, I'm listening to you then. Uh, maybe. Uh, Maybe it's not uh, an, a new joke for you. <laughs> oh, but it's possible. Also. Yes, it's possible that I know it already, but uh, that's all right because it's uh, good to refresh my memory. Uh, even if I know the joke already, you know, I like to keep uh, up to date and refresh my memory. So uh, that's good. That's wonderful. That's uh, excellent, uh, Penelta. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, I will begin uh, with uh, uh, jokes that I understood. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, let's go. You yeah. are American when you go into the bathroom. And That's you are true. American. Mm -hmm. You are American when you come out. But yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you are while you you were in there? So the question is: uh, So first of all, you're American when you go into the bathroom. You're an American when you come out of the bathroom. And the question is: What are you uh, when you are in there? Is yeah. that right? That's right. Well, if you're an American before you go in and you're American after you come out, I imagine, what are you? So I think there's two an possible answers to that question. I mean, the obvious answer is, well, you're still an American when you're in there, but there might be another answer like, what are you? You are uh, in the bathroom what are you either you are you know um doing uh, uh your business or <laughs> doing what you have to do in the bathroom or you are relieving yourself or something like that so i think it's either one of those two or maybe something else tell me if anyone's there and the answer, European. European. Ah, oh, you are P. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Yeah. That is brilliant. I never thought of that one. Oh, excellent. I hadn't yeah. heard that one before. European. <laughs> that is so good. I love it. Yes. <laughs> that is so funny. You you must have laughed a lot when you heard that one. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. <laughs> European. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that is so good, Vanilla. Oh, that's the best joke I've heard for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent. Really good. Right. A moment. Uh -huh. Teacher, uh, 
I wanted to roll, uh, write the answers, maybe. But uh -huh. my my screen uh, decreased. 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 Yes. Uh, your screen decreased, did it? I, I, I wanted to come back. Ah, uh, you wanted to come back to, to, the, to the previous screen. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. But you are tell. Teacher. Yes. Hello. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Can I, can I, where is the chat? Where is the what, sorry? Where is the, what, what were you saying? Shot, chat, shot. Shot, shot. Uh, a moment. Yes. Uh, oh, you want to close it, ah, to shut it down. Do you want to close it? Is that right? What, what exactly uh, would you like to do, uh, okay. What are you trying to do? Tell me, and I might be able to help you. A, mom a moment. Yes, of course. My mm -hmm. right, now I found you found what you were looking for. Found European. European. <laughs> European. <laughs> European. <laughs> Next. That Next. is amazing. Yes. How did the picture go to the jail? Can you repeat the beginning of that? I heard the word jail, but I didn't hear what you said before the word jail. Uh, Benilza. Why? Why did the picture uh, go to jail? The picture, the picture, picture. like a, like an image, a picture. P i c t u r e. Picture, like an image. Oh, yes, a picture. picture. Yes, I did understand you correctly, but I was a bit surprised oh. because usually pictures don't go to jail. Um, so the question is, why did the picture go to jail? Is that right? Yes. Mm. Uh, well, I think of um, uh, an answer. I'm thinking of an answer um, because the picture was um, uh, exposing itself. So it was like um, uh, when you're exposing yourself, uh, what's it called? Um, like indecent exposure, uh, like um, there are the exhibitionists, that's right, because it was uh, um, doing exhibitionism. It was exhibiting itself. It was exposing mm -hmm. itself. Is, is that the right uh, answer? It was in, 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 in jail for exhibitionism. Yes? Because it was framed. Framed. Oh, framed, of course. Ah, the picture was framed. <laughs> Very good. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that is so... Your jokes are really good. I like your jokes. They're really good, Vanilza. <laughs> in my country, this word is the same meaning. Oh, you have the uh, same word in your country. Uh, the the thief was framed by the policeman. Right. Uh, so you have exactly the same expression in your country. Same. Ah. Mm, that's interesting. Yes. Next one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's uh, what do you a uh, rubber toe? Can you say can can you say that again? I didn't hear the beginning of the uh, joke. Uh, what do you call what do you call a rubber toe? Uh, what do you call a rubber toe? 
rubber toe. Um, well, rubber tends to bounce. Um, bounce, it tends to be elastic. Rubber toe. Um, I'm trying to think here. A rubber toe. Hmm. Well, I I can't think at the moment of anything that can be connected with a rubber toe. Um, no, I think you're going to have to tell me, Vanessa. I really can't think of anything. Um, Roberto. <laughs> yes. Roberto. Roberto, in my language. Roberto. Roberto. Oh, ama Roberto. amazing. The name. <laughs> ah, and the question was, what do you call a rubber toe? Is that right? What, what, how did you a, say that? A rubber toe uh, is called Roberto. <laughs> ah. It's your first name. <laughs> right, Roberto. So, uh, oh, it's the name of the rubber toe. It's Roberto. So, uh, how do you call a rubber toe? That's yeah. that's the that's a joke. How do you call a rubber toe, Roberto? Wow. Bobinha. That's, Bobinha. That's yeah. Bobinha. It's very original. I never heard that one it's before. Silly. It's a silly joke. Silly yes, joke. But, but but it's original. I like it. It's good to have original <laughs> jokes as well. That's nice. Uh, wow. Roberto, Ro mm. Roberto, Roberto, Roberto. Wow, amazing. Another, agora, now I will tell you about the jokes that I, I didn't understand. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. let's, let's begin. Okay. Um, does anyone need an arc? Does anyone need an arc? Does anyone an need a what? Can, can you write it down? Because I can't hear what you're saying at the end there. I understood. Does anyone Does need anyone need an, an arc? An arc? Can I say an arc? Uh, did you say a mask? No. An, an arc. arc. Okay. But Does are you talking about? Does anyone need an arc? As, an it's okay. arc. Now, the when you pronounce the word arc, it can be written. Um, arc. Yes, I see what you mean. Well, uh, Noah was the one who needed an ark, if you've heard of Noah's ark and the flood. So does anyone need an ark? Well, I would say Noah was the one who needed an ark. Um, uh, yeah. But the, the right answer is, mm -hmm. I know a guy, I know a guy. I don't know what, I know a guy. Ah... I understand. I know a guy. I know a guy. What? What does it mean? It's I know a, a guy. It's a play on words. Yeah, but I, I don't know what. What? No, a guy. Ah, it's, Noah, it's a play on words. I, Noah is like no a no a guy. Uh, so, um, who needs an ark? And I know a guy. That means I know a guy who needs an ark. And also, it's I, it's I know a guy. It's like saying uh, the Noah guy, uh, the guy called Noah. It's I know a guy. <laughs> okay, now I, 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 I yes. know. You understand I that? Know a guy. I know a guy. I, Know a guy, know. yes. So silly. It's so silly, but it's, it's, a, it's a play on words on Noah. So you're quite but right. It, the reason why you didn't understand it is because it was a play on, play on words on the on the word Noah. But I immediately understood because you know I heard in the word Noah uh, yeah, the, the word no a. You know the two words no. in that name. So uh, as soon as I see the answer of a uh, play on words joke on a pun joke 
I usually immediately understand it, uh, but sometimes I can't. Well, I did actually say the answer correctly because uh, you asked me who needs an ark, and I said Noah. Mm, yeah. And so it was right. So, well, I'm glad I was able to um, find the answer to that question, even though I'd never heard that before, uh, but it just sounded logical. But instead of it just being a simple question, because it could have been just no on its own, they made a joke out of it by uh, using this pun, this play on words, based on the person's name. <laughs> uh, yes, that's right. I know a guy. That means uh, I know this person. I know I, a person. Yes. yes, I know a person. Next. I know a guy. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Yes, very good. Uh, I, uh, let me see. Uh, yes. uh, I, I ordered a chicken and an egg from Amazon. I ordered, ordered. I ordered, ordered, yes, yes. I ordered a chicken and an egg from Amazon. Now, I understood the word chicken, but I didn't understand the word you said just after the word chicken. What what did you say after the word chicken? Chicken and an egg. What is an egg? Can you write down an egg in the Skype chat, please, uh, Brunilza, for me to understand what an egg is? An egg. An egg. Okay. Yes. I ordered a chicken and an egg <laughs> yes. from Amazon. I, yes. I, I, I will let you know. I will let you know. I will let you know. Yes. Please, could you explain me the humor? So the answer <laughs> is... I'll let you know. Is that right? Yeah, finish. So the question is, I, or well, it isn't actually a question, it's a statement. I, I ordered, ordered uh, a, or a ch chicken. I ordered uh, a chicken and an egg from... An egg. An egg. An, an egg, egg from egg. Amazon. Yes. I order a chicken and an, an egg from Amazon. Yes. I will let you know. Okay. Uh, so, what it's referring to is uh, the famous question. I don't know if you're aware of this question, but it's a question that a lot of people are asking themselves. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Have you heard heard of that uh, question oh, before? Yes. That that is what it's referring to. It's the famous chicken and egg question, because um, who, who who was born, who was born first? Who was born first? That's right. No. Who was created first? I mean, who appeared first on the planet Earth? Was it the chicken, or was it the egg? Now, some people say if it was yeah. the chicken, but a chicken comes from an egg. So you can't have a chicken without there being an egg, first of all, you see. For a human being, the human being is born as a baby. So uh, the human being can appear just in its uh, ordinary state of a human being, just in a smaller size, when they appear on Earth, you see, when they're born as a baby. But for a chicken, the chicken doesn't appear as a little chicken or chick immediately. It first comes as an egg. So there is a um, uh, two stages, you see. There's two different uh, forms first, or states. First the egg first, normally and then the okay. chicken. But then oh. if you say it's the egg first and then the chicken, then uh, the question is, where did the egg come from? Because you can't have an egg without a chicken laying the egg, because eggs come from chicken. Eggs are produced by chicken. Uh, so uh, you can't have um, an egg if there's no chicken there to lay the egg, to produce the egg. So that is why we have the chicken and egg question. So um, 
the on uh, the reason why it's i'll let you know because uh, uh once again it's um something that we do not know for sure so there's mm -hmm. that part of the answer in the answer that part of explanation that i'll let you know because we still don't know it's still a mystery what came first yeah. so i'll keep you informed but it's also because um when you're ordering two different things um, from a company like Amazon, then uh, sometimes people ask you the question, well, which came first? Which arrived first? Mm -hmm. Which was delivered first? You see what I mean? And so yeah. it's from that point of view, uh, like um, if two different things were ordered, then you want to know which of those two things, if they're packaged separately, which one was delivered first of all, or which arrived in the post or whatever, first of all? Was it the chicken yeah. that arrived first? Uh, was that the first delivery? Or was it the egg that was delivered first? Yeah. You see. And so yeah. there's also that side of things where uh, if you're ordering two things, there's obviously going to be a delivery. So there's going to be one arriving before the other. So which came first? Mm -hmm which arrived first, which was delivered first, the chicken or the egg. And then yeah. because the order hasn't come through yet, it's only just been ordered, it hasn't been delivered yet, the person is saying, I'll let you know as soon as um, the delivery is made. As soon as the chicken and the egg are delivered, as soon as I receive mm -hmm. them, then I'll let you know which one came first, whether I receive the chicken oh, first oh. or the egg first. You understand, yeah. uh, Vanilza? <laughs> yeah. Simple. Yeah, it's quite simple, really. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> it is a little bit difficult because it's not written like a question, just a statement. And of course, if you're not thinking about the chicken and egg mystery as to which one came first, and if you don't think about it being packaged separately, and so obviously one package yeah. may arrive before the other then you wouldn't think of that. But uh, it is original. I do like it as well. It's the first time I've seen that joke as well. Lots of new jokes. It's good. Evan Hill, so you're doing well. Yes, I'm learning lots of new jokes. This is wonderful. <laughs> Excellent. Really good. Did you know the first French fries? Did you know the first French fries weren't actually... In France, France. So, uh, you're saying that, uh, uh, yes, I did know that. The first French fries, um, I think they were from Belgium. Is that correct? Uh, were they, they, were, they were cooked in Greece. Greece. Oh, Greece. Ah. <laughs> okay. Did did but you understand? It, did you understand it, that I one? Know. No. You didn't understand that one. Uh, what does it mean? It mean in Greece. Greece. It's a, a, a have, word have play. You, a play. Word. Have you ever heard of Greece? You know, when you do no. cooking, you Greece, can cook with oil. Cooking oil. You can cook with butter, you can cook with margarine, you can cook with um, fat. Uh, a uh, kind of oil. Oil, oil that's right. Uh, the different ways that you can cook things. When you put in the frying pan, okay. Okay. Uh, yes, and grease, which is the grease that comes from uh, or, ge uh, oil. geese or ducks, yeah, oil. It's the fat, you see. When you melt the fat, it becomes like grease. Mm -hmm. And it's sometimes used, or it's called um, grease that's used for, for cooking. Cooking grease, just like cooking oil, butter, margarine, yeah. fat. Lots of different things that we can okay. use to cook. You understand that one now? So it's a play on words once again. I, as soon as you said the word grease, I immediately understood. Because I thought... Um, you were you were going to write down the word Greece, and then I understood the plan words because it was referring to the country. Mm. But in fact, they gave the country, and then 
you had to realize that it was uh, what was used in the cooking so yeah. that it cooks well. Okay. That's right. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Oh, that's this is hard. really interesting. You're, you're learning lots of new things because you're learning, um, you're understanding the jokes. So by understanding yeah. the jokes, that enables you to uh, not only improve your vocabulary and your yeah. knowledge of English, but also it uh, enables you to understand the jokes and then to also have the um, the experience the of understanding word, jokes. The yes, sound the, the, the sound of the words and also that means that when you see these kinds of uh, jokes uh, again sometime later, uh, if somebody is telling you these jokes, you will understand the jokes much better. Sometimes yeah. you will actually know the answer directly, or even if you don't know the answer, you'll know how to work it out so you understand the joke, if you see what I mean. Okay. Next, teacher. Yes, uh, next. Mm -hmm. What do you call a hippie's wife? Hippie's wife. Sorry, can you say that again, please, uh, Vanessa? Oh, what do you call a hippie wife? Uh, hippie's, what a you, hippie's wife. What do you call a hippie's wife? Well, there's different possibilities. Either you could call her uh, a peace, um, yeah. or you can call her love, like peace and love. Um, or is that the answer? Uh, the answer <coughs> is Mississippi. Oh, Mississippi. Oh, I didn't think of that. I was thinking of peace and love. Um, ah, Miss, Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Hippie. Yes, I understand. It's Mrs. Mrs. Because it's the wife, so she's married, so she's no longer a Miss, but a Mrs. Mrs. So it's Mrs. Hippie. Mrs. Zippy. Mrs. Mrs. Zippy. Mrs. Hippie. So Mrs. Zippy. Mrs. Hippie. Mrs. Mrs. <laughs> Hippie. Is like Mississippi, you see, Mississippi, Mississippi. Did you understand that, or oh, you didn't understand it before? No, probably that, not. Yes, but as soon as you said the joke, I immediately understood it. But I was thinking of the Miss, you know, like M I double S. But of course, it's not Miss Mississippi because she's married, so she's not yeah. Miss, but this is. So it's not Miss. Is Zippy, but it's Mrs. Hippie, Mrs. Zippy, Mrs. Hippie. <laughs> Very good. Let me see. Yes, that's a good one. I like yeah. that. Yes, that's another good joke. Well done. Uh, the last. How do, does a penguin, penguin animal, uh, build its uh, its house? How does a penguin build its house? So, how does a penguin build penguin. its house? Penguin. How does a penguin build its house? Well, I think, once again, there are two possible answers here. Either the answer is like a trick, trick question, saying uh, it doesn't uh, because... Uh, Penguins don't live in uh, houses. So that would be one possible question. Or another, uh, I mean, possible answer. Another answer would be one uh, brick at a time, indicating that, like, how do you eat an mm. elephant? One mouthful at a time. You see, slowly but surely. Okay. And another possibility. Uh, the answer oh. um, would uh, be. Uh, it was it together. It, it was what? What was the it answer? It was it together. 
he puts it together. Put together. He glues it together. He glues he it glues together. together. Yes. He glues it together. That's right. He glues I, it together. Yes. I was going to say the third possibility was um, one ice block at a time because obviously where they live, they have igloos. And I was thinking of the igloo. I was thinking the third possibility I was going to give is one ice block at a time. That is to say, uh, they build uh, the igloos, so that's how they build their houses, with ice or snow. But they actually, there's a play on words. He uh, glues... Uh, he glues... That's right. He glues it together. Can you see that, uh, Vanilza? I don't know what the, ver the verb glues. To glue. Do you know what the verb to glue is? No. Okay. Um, and also, know. the noun is the glue. Um, so, glue, I don't know if you've heard of super glue. With super glue, it's so strong that just one drop, for example, um, on uh, the soles of your shoes, and they can uh, put you up like that, upside down, so your feet touch the ceiling. Then they let go, and you're hanging from the ceiling uh, because your shoes are glued, they are stuck to the ceiling. So with super glue, it's so strong that uh, um, you can even hang from the ceiling from your shoes upside down just by putting a drop on uh, the bottom of each shoe and people then push you up upside down so that your feet are like on the ceiling you see and then after a few seconds they let go and you stay hanging from the ceiling upside down with your shoes you know uh, stuck you know fixed to the ceiling with the glue it's like a very, um, it's a liquid, which is adhesive. I don't know if you've heard of that word, adhesive. Adhesive, it means it sticks together, mm. or it sticks things together. You know when children uh -huh. are doing yeah. um, uh, a picture with little pieces of paper that they want to add to that picture, uh, little characters, they can stick the characters onto the background so they t take some glue they go chuk 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 like some prit prit is a uh, a trademark for a type of uh, glue which comes in a stick and then they put it on the back of the little piece of paper they want to stick and then they press it against the background picture and then they have um like a you know a nice little work of art a nice little picture okay. do you understand what glue is now yes. so he, he glues it comes it, it comes in a tube yes. and you press the glue and then if you've broken something you can stick the two pieces yes. together and they stay I together think. they're mended repaired it sticks yes it's sticky you see it sticks together it's fixed Sticky. it's attached together yes okay. you understand that so igloos it's a plain word on igloos igloos is like he glues you see he yes. glues it together igloos because um, where penguins live, there's a lot of snow and ice, and so uh, people live in igloos. Okay. You know, the Eskimos, they live in the igloos, yeah. which is like a, an ice house, a house made out of the ice, which is with a round uh, roof, round top, you see? Yeah. You know that. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's good. Oh, oh there we go. Nice one, uh, Vanessa. Very good. Dead jokes. <laughs> it's a very good check. Mm. But now you. Ah, oh, my turn now. Now, first of all, you need to choose a category. So I'll read the different categories to you, and you choose a category uh, that you would like me to tell you jokes about. So there are the animals, birthdays, coffee, uh, things that are cute. Sorry? Really? What did you say? 
about the religion. Religion? Uh, let's see if uh, we have some uh, Christian uh, jokes. Oh, yes, religious jokes. Yes, we do have religious jokes. Oh, wonderful. Jack yes, this should, be, this, this should be interesting. Yes. So, uh, religious jokes. I'm looking now. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Right. This is a bit of a long one. Let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, right. Okay. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. Um, that's interesting. So... Uh, this is the joke, and I'm going to uh, send it to you. Right, there we are. So, uh, do you want to read it, uh, Vanilza, to give you a little bit of yeah. uh, practice uh, reading, and so you can improve your pronunciation with the reading? Yeah. Yes. I... Uh... Do you, uh, will you read it or I, re I, no, you, I will you, read you, re you read it so that uh, uh, I okay. can correct any mistakes you might make in your pronunciation, uh, uh, Benilza. Uh, rope you help you cur curse. Yes. Uh, a priest buys a lo loan, loan. A priest Lo buys a lo loan. Loan. loan, yes. Priest buys a loan mower at Lower. a yard sale. Yes, at a, at, huh? a, at, a, at a yard sale. Yard, yard sale. A priest, buys, right. a priest buys a lo loan mower. Loan mower, yes. A priest buys a loan mower in a yard sale. That's correct, at yes. Home. Back home, he pulls, 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 no, pulls on, pulls, pulls on. Yes, he pulls, uh, on. pulls on, he pulls on. He pulls on the starter rope a few times with yes. no resources. Results. 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 Ah, 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 results, ah, that's ah, right. Ah, ah, ah. Again, back home, he pulls on the start, starter rope rope a few times with no results good what is rope rope you know it's what a is rope. a piece of string or a cord it's a bit like a cable it's long and thin uh you can use it to tie something up to attach something okay it's so long, it's long and string you see like a piece a of string part. or a thread yeah. That's right, but a rope is thicker. It's thicker, um, just like string is thicker than a thread. Uh, mm -hmm. Rope is thicker than a piece of string. So, for example, on ships, on boats, uh, you have lots of different ropes which you have to pull, you see, for the sails. Okay. To pull the sail in, you have to use okay. ropes. Pull. You okay. pull on the rope. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Tie, tie. Yes, For you use tie, it to tie tie. things up. Yes, to tie, the rope, to tie things up. You use a rope to okay. tie something up. Yes. Starter rope. He mm -hmm. pulls on the starter rope a few times with no result. Results. His storm result. He storms yes. back to the yard sale and tells the previous owner. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. I uh, owner, 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 owner. That's right. And tell the previous owner, mm -hmm. I can't get the mower to start. Mm -hmm. That's because you have to curse to get it start. Say right. the to curse. Mm -hmm. What's curse? Um, well, it's the opposite of bless. Um, you know what a blessing is. Uh, when you're blessing somebody, you say, 
God bless you. And uh, yeah. they say lots of good things uh, so that God can do lots of good things to you. Now, the opposite of blessing is instead of saying good things, it's when you say bad things. Bad things are curses. Usually they are very vulgar words, very rude words, very impolite words. And those would be curses. When you're angry at somebody, shouting at somebody, you want to insult somebody, then you can, then some people then curse the other person by saying bad, negative, rude, impolite things to the person. You, you see what I mean? Yes, but in this case, it's, it's a, a shiny. You yes, have but it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a special machine. You see, it's a joke, so it's a joke machine. So it's not a real-life machine. It's an imaginary machine. Okay. You must uh, imagine this is fiction. You know, this is fantasy. Uh, this isn't true. This isn't real. Uh, so you know that sometimes you have cars um, that can uh, function just by speaking to the car. There's lots of different things um, that can work. Sometimes even your computer or your mobile phone, <clears throat> you can speak to it and uh, you can speak the name of the person you want to call with your mobile phone and with voice recognition, it recognizes uh, the name from the uh, directory, the list of mm -hmm. names that recorded in the mobile phone and it'll call that person for you without you having to dial the number you see, or finding it in the directory. You just say Tom or Dick or Harry, and it'll immediately call either Tom, Dick or Harry, just by saying the name, because um, it's called voice recognition. So uh, it's artificial intelligence, which can uh, identify uh, speech and the word you're saying. It's so here, this is a, yes. It's the same it's kind the of same thing. Situation. It's the same and situation. So, uh, but when I when I yes. uh, curse curse uh, the, the lawnmower, that's start. right. When you say rude like, things, uh, impolite things, uh, bad things to this lawnmower, uh, it's after, only after that the yes. ma the machine uh, begin will Bege begin will begin to work. To work. That's right. It's a uh, bit of a special lawnmower. Sure. Yes. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> it's a funny, funny joke, yeah. Uh, it's a funny. Uh, same to I'm yeah. a man of the cloth. 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 I'm a man of the cloth. Cloth. Do not cloth. Yeah, do you know what I'm, it means? I'm a man of the, of the cloth. cloth. cloth no. do, do, do you know what it means, a man of the cloth? No. Cloth. No. Cloth well, is like a... Uh, it's cloth. an expression. It's an expression. Like a culture, culture, like well, uh, you know that um, uh, a priest is often uh, dressed up in a, uh, a kind of uniform, uh, yeah. special clothes, you see. Uh, and so the cloth that is referring to the clothes that the priest or the man of God uh, wears when they wear like a uniform like uh, special clothes and uh, a man of the cloth therefore means um, a person who uh, is part of um, a church or is a leader of a church or a religion or someone who has a, a function or a role and who's dressed up in a special way you see so that is a man of the cloth. It means a man of God, really. I'm a man of the cloth. Of the cloth. I right. don't even remember how to... Uh, I don't even remember how yes. to curse. Because it was a long time ago. Yes, I'm he, like a saint man. That's right. Before he became a man of God, a man of the cloth, um, uh, that's when he used to curse. But since he became a man of God, a man of the cloth, yeah. He, no, he no longer curses. He blesses people instead of cursing them. He says good things rather than bad things, you see. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let, I don't even remember how to curse. You right. keep pulling on that rope. Yes. Rope, mm -hmm. And it will come it will, oh, it will, it will, and it will uh, come back to you It'll come back to you. That's right. If you keep pulling on that rope, it'll come back to you. What is keep 
pulling. Well, pulling. if you continue, if you keep doing it, that means you continue doing it. So yeah. if you pulling. continue pulling on that rope because it's the starter rope and uh, to start up then uh, the, um, uh, the lawnmower, uh, to start up the motor, you have to pull on the rope. So if you keep pulling on that rope, then um, uh, it'll come back to you. That is to say, uh, yeah. those curses, those bad words will come back to you because you're going to become so frustrated. You're going to become so worked up. You're going to become so annoyed and so angry and so mad and so uh -huh. mm, okay. furious that you're going to start saying very, very rude, impolite, uh, vulgar Mauer, things. Yes. Uh, the Mauer... Uh, want to, to work to then, it, then the mower will work when uh, it hears vulgar words yes. bad words, uh, curse okay. words <laughs> good, you understand good. <laughs> yeah. okay uh, so the next one here <clears throat> so I'm just having a look uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. right I found another good one here so, this is um, the next joke. There we are. I'll just uh, send that uh, to you. If you can read that. Oh, no, it's the same one. Sorry, it didn't work. I tried to do a copy-paste, but the copy-paste didn't work. So, I'll try doing the copy-paste again. Uh, and see if it works because I think I've just uh, done exactly the same one as before. Okay, I think this is it. He right. Him so he can do with himself. That's right, yes. Our fourth gra grader celebrated his birthday mm -hmm. on. Crutches. Yes. So he couldn't carry the cupcakes into school without help. Right. Uh, I asked our sixth, sixth, sixth grader. Yes. No, to help his brother carry them in. Then in. Then in. That's right. I could. He said, but I prefer not to, not to. Mm -hmm. It's spotting a teaching moment. It's spotting a teaching moment, my husband asked Noah. Yeah. What does Jesus do? What do you do Jesus do? Yes. Noah, Noah answered, Jesus wouldn't heal him, so he couldn't carry his one cupcakes. Oh. Right. You heel, understand that? Heel. I forgot what is heal. Heal. Heal is like uh, to cure somebody or um, to make uh, somebody better, um, to make uh, someone better, or um, to uh, take uh, away the uh, illness or uh, sickness. And then the person is healed, is cured, is made better. If the illness goes away, if the sickness goes away, if the disease goes away, then they are they have recovered. They have become normal again and they become healthy. And when they're healthy, yeah. they have been healed. Because in the Heal. word uh, healthy, Heal. the first uh, four letters of the word healthy is heal. So it means to be in a condition where you are healed, where you are in good health, you see. Yeah. You see. Mm -hmm. Where you see it. Jesus Did... would heal him. So yes. he would on cupcakes. Oh. You understand the joke? Yeah, now yes. <laughs> but, uh... yes. But you see, it's always a question um, that uh, people ask. What would Jesus do? Uh, I don't know if you've heard of that expression. Um, it's often referred to WWJD. 
Have you heard of that expression, WWJD? I remember what would Jesus do. Yes. What would Jesus do, WWJD? <laughs> That's always the question uh, that uh, one should ask. And so, in this case, Jesus would heal him so that he could carry his own cupcakes. Yeah. But, in fact, the <laughs> other person was meaning... Um, what would Jesus do, thinking that um, the other person would say, well, that's true, Jesus would help him, and Jesus would carry his cupcakes <laughs> for him. But then the person, instead of saying that, saying, oh, Jesus would just heal them, so then he can carry his own cupcakes, and he won't need anybody to carry his cupcakes for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see what good. I mean? That's good. good. Excellent. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, one more joke here. Um, uh, here we are. Oh, that's a bit of a long one. Let's have one that's uh, a little bit uh, shorter. Um, here we are. This one's uh, a short one. Um, right, here we are. This is a nice short joke to finish off with. Can you read that one for me, please, uh, Vanilza? Old Ned's mother was looking through an old, an old family Bible. Yes. When an oak, oak, oak left, it fell out. Oak left, left, fell out. Ned yes. Said, I guess that must be Adam Sharp's. Yes, oh. you understand let's, that. Let uh, Mother Ned, Ned's mother. Uh huh. Oh, 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 left, fell out. Ned said, "I guess that must be Adam Sharp's." Sharp's is the cultist. So it's like um, trousers. Uh, but it's a little bit shorter trousers, than trousers. Short. It's a, a short pair of trousers. It's called shorts, you see. It's what you do when you're playing tennis, for example. Uh, you're, you wear tennis shorts, yeah. you see. So, uh, now, you know that um, uh, God covered Adam. Well, no, Adam actually covered himself uh, with a leaf. Uh, and no, Eve also no, had a... Because Adam uh, don't, uh, didn't use clothes. Because, uh, yeah. that's right, after they'd eaten the apple, they realized they were naked, uh -huh. Adam and yeah, Eve. only one left to cover the... How to can cover I speak? The nakedness, the, to cover the nudity or the nakedness of you... Adam and Eve. They uh, wore... Uh -huh. Uh, leaves. Normally it was fig leaves, but here they've chosen an oak leaf. leaf. Yes, a leaf just to cover themselves. And so they're saying, as it coming from the Bible, it must have been Adam's shorts or okay. Eve's shorts, you see. <laughs> and how, how the mother was looking an old family Bible and mm -hmm. when the oak left it fell out to his... Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad you like that. Teacher. That's great, Vanilza. So thank you very much for the lesson. Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Was it good? Oh, Interesting. Yes. You learned oh, some new things. Much. Yes. Okay, very good. Bye bye, teacher. See you next week, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Did you learn some new things, uh, Vanilza? Always, always. Always. That's excellent. Oh, I'm really happy always. to hear that. Always. Excellent. That's great. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Vanilza, and all Bye. the best for you. Take care. Thanks a lot. Keep well. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.